This is Michael Wentworth Bell for CG Press, and in this video I will demonstrate how I've used the new Alembic playback graph feature in the production of this river scene. One of my top features added to 3ds Max 2016 is the Alembic playback graph. In this scene, over 200 different animals have been instanced as Alembic objects. I've created a looping animation for each type of animal and then used the playback graph so that each animal is playing a different portion of the original looping animation. This is a great way to quickly add variation to a scene. The workflow is very light on scene performance and it's very quick and easy to set it up. Here is the original scene for one of the animals. In this case, I've rigged and animated a cow in a looping state as it drinks water from a trough. Once I was happy with the animation, I exported the mesh out as an animated alembic object. I've already exported the ABC file out, so I'm going to import it now. Once it's imported, original rigged cow. And I will review the playback graph options. Similar to the playback graph found in the point cache modifier and other third party cache plugins like Rayfire Cache, the graph will allow me to retime the animation as needed. With two points, I'm quickly creating a linear graph to match my original animation. As I scrub through the scene, you can see the animation is played back unchanged from the original rigged cow. At this point I can easily begin to add points to slow down parts of my animation, an easy way to create time ramps or bullet time effects. I can reverse my animation and a lot more. But in this case I just want to loop the graph out, allowing the ABC cache to play and loop forever. I can now easily duplicate my object. I have to use a copy in order to have a unique playback graph for each duplicate. I've now got seven cows, but the repetition is very obvious. However, I can offset the keys on my objects and each cow will play back a different part of the original looping animation. I use the Fantastic Animators Toolkit, otherwise known as ATK, to randomly offset all selected objects in just one click. Now I've got seven unique cows playing back different parts of the same original animation. This has been extremely powerful in production. I've placed my objects throughout the scene and for any object I can easily load up a different animation, for example swapping from drinking to an eating state, or I can swap to a different animal altogether. This is one of the many uses for Alembic aside from transferring data between different applications. Unlike point cache, I'm able to switch either my geometry or animation while keeping my animation offsets in place. With features such as Alembic Playback Graph, I'm able to quickly add and modify animation for hundreds of objects, allowing me to do far more work in the same amount of time. The Alembic implementation is definitely one of the standout features in 3ds Max 2016. For more information, check out cgpress.org.